Hello students, in today's video on anti amitics part 6, we will study pharmacology of 5-HC3 uh, antagonists. Now examples of 5-HC3 antagonists are Ondanstron, Granistron, uh, Palanostron, uh, Ramostron. Now look at this diagram uh, showing mechanism of action of 5-hydroxy uh, tryptamine 3 receptor antagonist. Now, as we all know, vomiting is induced by stimulation of vomiting center located in medulla oblongata, that is the brain stem. And closely associated with the vomiting center is a chemoreceptor trigger zone, also called as the area postrema, and it is located outside the blood brain barrier. Now, amitogenic agents like uh, chemicals, uh, chemotherapeutic agents, morphine, digoxin, etc., stimulate uh, the receptors which are located on the chemoreceptor trigger zone, thereby stimulating CTZ. And these amitogenic impulses are further transmitted to the vomiting center and that causes vomiting. Now 5-HT3, that is a 5-hydroxy tryptamine 3 receptors are located on chemoreceptor trigger zone. Now apart from this, 5-HT3 receptors are also present peripherally. Now, very important to understand that more than 95% of 5-hydroxy tryptamine, that is serotonin in the body, is present in the enteric nervous system of GIT or the gut. Now, amitogenic substances like radiations, cytotoxic agents, uh, gastrointestinal irritants stimulate release of 5-HT from anterochromaffin uh, cells in the gut. Now, 5-HT binds to 5-HT3 receptors on the vagal afferents that transmit amitogenic impulses to the vomiting center and that causes vomiting. Now, as shown in this diagram, 5-HT3 antagonist, they block centrally located 5-HT3 receptors on chemoreceptor trigosome and peripherally they block 5-HT3 receptors located on the vagal afferents and thus these drugs uh, they produce potent anti-amitic effect. Now uh, let's discuss the indications of 5-HT3 uh, antagonist. Now 5-HT3 antagonists effectively prevent acute amesis that is acute vomiting occurring within 24 hours of the administration of chemotherapeutic agents like cisplatin. However, these drugs partially prevent delayed amesis that is the vomiting occurring after 24 hours of the administration of uh, chemotherapeutic drugs. Now, these drugs are indicated in cancer chemotherapy, radiotherapy induced nausea and vomiting, then uh, post-operative nausea and vomiting, then disease and drug-induced nausea and vomiting. Now let's uh, uh, see to the characteristic features of 5-HT3 uh, uh, antagonist. Now the first drug is Ondanstron. It's a fairly safe and broad spectrum antiemetic. Now unlike uh, antihistaminics, uh, it does not produce sedation. And unlike D2 receptor antagonists, uh, like like the neuroleptic agents or uh, the prokinetic agents, for example, metoclopramide, uh, these drugs, uh, they do not exhibit um, extra pyramidal side effects. And thus, ondansterone is often used as a, a first-line therapy for the management of nausea and vomiting. Now, the most uh, common side effects of uh, ondansterone are mild headache and constipation. Rare and serious side effect of uh, ondansterone is prolongation of QT interval and it can cause torse D point. Half-life of ondansterone is 3 to 5 hours while its uh, duration of action is 8 to 12 hours. Now next uh, drug is uh, granistron. Uh, granistron is 10 times more potent than ondansterone. Side effect profile is similar to ondansterone. Uh, next, 5-HT3 uh, antagonist is uh, palanosterone. Advantages of uh, palanosterone over ondansterone. Uh, palanosterone is the longest acting 5-HT3 antagonist with a half-life of about 40 hours. 
uh, its efficacy is superior compared to ondansterone and uh, it does not uh, uh, exhibit uh, QT prolongation. Uh, main drawback of this drug is the cost. It is uh, more expensive um, compared to ondansterone. Uh, then uh, next drug is the ramosterone. Uh, the uh, pharmacology of uh, ramosterone is similar to that of uh, ondansterone. So, this is in brief on 5 HT3 receptor antagonist as antiemetics. If you find this video useful, kindly like, subscribe, and share this video. Very important, please note that the information provided in this video is exclusively for students from their examination point of view, and uh, therefore, kindly consult your physician for the treatment of nausea and vomiting. Thanks for watching this video.